guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki Wonder here for my Father's Day special. Just like I brought my mom on here to introduce her to my Wonderland, I'm bringing my dad here. Say hi, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> this is Daddy Wonder right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, introduce my, my dad, guys. A few things about my dad. As you guys know, I have a, um, a short stint in the military. I was in the Army. And my father and I share that connection. Yeah. Here's a picture of him, age 17, <laughs> joining the army, just like me. So yeah. I get my toughness and stuff from my dad. That's right. So say hi to Wonderland and tell them how awesome a child I am. And <laughs> how I never made one mistake in my life. That's right. Or, Nikki or... Wonder. <laughs> I wonder how she learned stuff so fast. <laughs> We had to write down notes so that she didn't understand that we were making bacon. <laughs> and she got mad about that. She... But one thing she didn't get mad about, she never held a dirty diaper. <laughs> never held a dirty diaper, okay. Yeah, we didn't have pampers at those days. <laughs> oh, so I'm that old that I had to have cloth right. diapers. You just told everybody how old I am. Yeah, she's going on 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but she's still my baby. Yes. My Guys, baby. Guys, in case you wondered, my dad is the person who gave me the name Nikki. Right? You're right. <laughs> That's right. Big girl was not enough. I had to call her what her name was, Nikki. <laughs> and y'all made her wonder. <laughs> but she is an amazing child, an amazing mother. I challenge that against anything. Oh, I learn from the best, Daddy. And yeah, thank you for I teaching say? me everything. Oh, yes. You're good at fishing. Of course, that was a requirement in the house. <laughs> and you're a good driver when you're not in a rush. That was a requirement, too, at age 13. Yes. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> he had me driving at age 13. <laughs> That's right. Of course, back then, people didn't care, you know. She was, was amazing. No, no uh, rules. We weren't breaking any rules, right? Yes, right. But another amazing thing about my Nikki is in school. She was a flag girl in high mm -hmm. school. And ROTC, too, like her daddy. I was in the high school band. Mm -hmm. And the ROTC. Oh, I didn't know you were in ROTC. Or now the band. I knew you were in ROTC. I didn't know you were in the band. What did you play? Bass, drum, the big one. Boom, <laughs> boom. I was the only one that could carry it for three miles and beat the drum to the music. Are you kidding me? I was strong. You have rhythm? Because you don't have rhythm here. right now. Not quite. <laughs> no, but I played that drum... And that drum took me to Florida mm. for the first time, St. Petersburg, Florida. Mm. And we played in a band competition. We came up last. <laughs> last? <laughs> but at least we was posted. Well, that explains it, because I didn't know where I got the inspiration for Barcha Band from, but now I know. You was excellent with that flag. I know that. I was captain in 11th grade. I was. Yes. <laughs> At 12th grade. She went from being a private in ROTC to, uh, what was it? I was a uh, lieutenant commander. Yes. But you was in charge of a certain part of the ROTC. Yes. She became the boss before she graduated. Yes. Yes, I did. And I'm very proud of her. She went in the military like her father. I am the first... I was the first and only one to graduate boot camp after my father. Mm -hmm. He sent me, to, I was sent to cooking school in New Jersey. Oh, New Fort Jersey. Fort Dix, New Jersey. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was KP Central for the Army. That's where you went to school. Mm -hmm. And because I was good, I had to go to a special schooling for feeding officers. So that's where you get all the cooking from. So that must be where I get my big mama syndrome from. That's right. <laughs> and the one thing you learn that nobody else knows much about is you learn how to make 
poke Sally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. So let, let's talk about that for just a second. All the weird things that you used to cook in the house. Yeah, and we had to learn how to make. What was something? Like, I, I came downstairs one time and there was an octopus on the stove, people. Yes. And Tentacles had, and everything coming out the pot. That was scary. And we had fresh rabbit. Did? We had, uh, y'all didn't know we had some coon. Yes, we ain't that? that? With potatoes and onions. <laughs> wow. You didn't leave nothing on the plate. Wow. The name wasn't even there. <laughs> so, okay. Because I knew we ate some things, people, but When the groceries cool, go huh? down. When the groceries get low. When the low. groceries got low, apparently Dad just kind of went in the woods and you, 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 you go hunting. Fly. Probably he can find roadkill stew. <laughs> and stingray. Stingray. When we go fishing, you cut the wings off the stingray. It's just like scallops. Oh, wow. You, y'all love them. They ate them all up. You never asked what it was. <sighs> okay, see, maybe I didn't need to ask that question. It's better that I didn't know. But fish is brain food. It's I all know, the brain but you got. I didn't know that there was <laughs> raccoon on the stove, Daddy. Well, I baked it in the oven. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, cooking was a big thing. Like, I know my husband enjoys the fact that I am not afraid of the kitchen at all. Well, I will get in That's there and right. try anything. But That's right. That I'm not trying. I mean... You'll miss it. <laughs> but this is where I get it from right here. Daddy was a stay-at-home dad, and so oh, yes. he was with us every day. And when I tell you, it was the cooking, it was the learning how to fight. That's right. Learn how to fix everything in the house with duct tape. And the car. <laughs> and the car. Guys, he had me in a dress under the car <laughs> changing my oil. You learn fast. You, yes. <laughs> and I made you learn to put brakes on your car. You remember that? Yes. I can yeah. put brakes on. I can change my oil. I can rotate my tires. You know how to change your battery. I can change a battery. I know how a carburetor works. And, and Yes. You, and if your electricity goes off, you know how to turn it on. I know how to turn it on. Shh. <laughs> 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 but that's the secret. Well, that's the secret. Don't yeah. tell, don't don't tell, tell anybody. Right. A couple... Couple fa- it's only between us and a couple, you know, hundred million people who ever watch YouTube. A couple hundred thousand. Dollars a couple hundred thousand, couple hundred thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dad is a survivor, guys. All of my survivor skills I get from this man. How to just make things work that don't want to work. That's right. How to make a meal out of anything. Yes. And throw the recipe book out the window because <laughs> intuition is the best thing when it comes to cooking and doing everything else. I feel like if I was dropped off somewhere, I could survive. That's right. <laughs> and knowing that the Lord is there for you, whether yes. you see him or not, whether you mm-hmm. feel him or not. The most important thing he ever taught me was about God. And I remember those, those, uh, role-playing Bible stories. Yep. <laughs> you be Jesus and you be the devil. Okay, <laughs> now, right cross, right across the front. <laughs> That's right. And so he used to teach us everything, and I love my daddy for I love the everything. Little short girl. Everything he, he gives me and, and does for me, guys, I have the best parents in the world. She's so. worth sacrificing for Time and money has no value when it comes to your children. And that's right. They did not ask to come here, and you brought them here. You're responsible for them. But don't feed them raccoon. Don't Just do don't that. tell them what it is. Just don't do. Don't. Do that. Yeah, I got some uh, ribeye steaks in there. <laughs> yeah, ribeye steak. I'm gonna check the labels. And also, Daddy, we want to talk about the fact that you like went back to boot camp. Oh, yeah. See, Army boot camp is bad enough, but you went into the Marines? Who yes. does that? Well, <laughs> in the Army, I got bored. My unit was transferring from Vietnam to Germany. And I don't get the credit for it, but I'm a Vietnam era. Mm-hmm. When I got out, I couldn't stay in civilian life. I was used to in the army. I, every two weeks, I at least had a hundred dollars I could blow. 
mm-hmm. civilian world, I couldn't make $90 without blowing it. Wow. And for me to be better, I had to have a better challenge. And the Marine Corps offered me that challenge. I said, I want to know auto mechanics. I want to know how it works, how the gas gets from the back to the front, and everything involved in it. Which is why I know what I know about cars. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the Marine Corps sent me to boot camp. They didn't tell me I had to go back to boot camp to the day I was leaving. <laughs> Really? They did not tell me I had to go to boot camp again. Mm. Wow. So they sent me to Paris Island, the land that God forgot. <laughs> the land that God forgot. Wow. It's bad. Paris. Paris Island. Happiest place in the world? No. 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 Not really. <laughs> but after that, they sent me to all but well, they sent me to Okinawa, Japan, and North Carolina. But after Japan, I came back, and I, went, I had to re-enlist. Mm-hmm. So they s- sent me to mechanic school at Camp Johnson, mm-hmm. North Carolina, up the road from Camp Lejeune. That's where I learned the basics of mechanics. Oh, uh, so wait a minute, Daddy. So this explains why we were starting cars with screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. <laughs> And butter knife. Guys, you can't make this stuff up, <laughs> okay? You try to start the car with no key. No, me and my friends in high school got in the car to go somewhere, and I pull out a screwdriver and push the ignition, and the car starts. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Once you got a oh, ride, man. boogity, 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 <laughs> go, go. All right, guys. There's a whole video for car stories coming one day, okay? We don't have time for that right now. We got so many car stories. Thank you, United States Marine Corps, for teaching my dad about cars, but wow. (laughs) Oh, yes. It's the real world. (laughs) Thanks, guys, for watching today. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Happy Father's Day. Go give your dad a hug or a kiss and let him know you love him. Be sure to leave me comments below. Raccoon. I, I'm going to have to pray about possum, that. Possum We're going to talk about that too. Be <laughs> sure to make me leave a comment below. Subscribe. All that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>